All right, hello everybody. Um, we are a group of kindergartners and we are going to talk a little bit about um, what we've learned with addition. So we have three different math strategies and they're going to explain what they're doing. So on our board, I'm gonna take a look guys. We have, um, Kira, can you read it for us? Five plus four. And what's the sign? Equals. Equals, so five plus four equals, hmm. So Daniel chose the number line because it is a very visual uh, means to answer a question like this. And it's visual not only like the frogs and lily pads are visual, but it also shows the progression of numbers and they can see um, that numbers are getting higher and the direction that they move, especially when they get into subtraction. Um, it will help them differentiate between going forward on the number line or backward on the number line. Kira used the frogs and the lily pad to tell a story and in kindergarten stories are a great way to convey information and to help students understand more clearly different concepts and so using the frogs and the lily pad is, is a great option for her. So the abacus uh, is a great tool especially for kids that are struggling with one-to-one -one correspondence when you're counting, um, recognizing one two, three, four, that one number corresponds to each bead. So this um, is a great way, using many different methods to solve a math problem, it's a great way to open each of their minds to lots of different ways to solve math problems. Um, often they can get stuck in, in only one way and um, allowing them to be risk takers to see math from a different perspective will really help them in their education in the future. Idaho Core Standards, preparing every kid for success in college and in life. To learn more, visit IdahoCoreStandards.org.